I'm naturally disgusted being a victim for 52 years of my life. And even up until yesterday, I'm forced to bow down to a child molester? I mean, seriously. <laughs> That's how I had my life. I don't know what people expect. That I shouldn't be bitter because nothing ever bad happened to all the child molesters in my life. My late husband. He probably... He hated kids, so... But if you consider him, um... Raping a poor little 13-year-old because he got her drunk driving her down to Maryland when he was 20 years old. If you consider that child molestation, I don't consider that child molestation. I consider that rape. He raped her because he sneakily, she's a little girl, he sneakily, oh, getting my, he was a, had hot rod cars. Okay. So he was a real fucking piece of work a real fucking asshole a piece of fucking shit narcissist uh he dated um a 15 year old when he was 18 supposedly he stayed um uh, faithful to her for three years i don't think so but that's what he said probably for the first year so when she was 15 to 16 he stayed faithful to her and I, I really don't think the rest of their time together, he stayed faithful. He got her pregnant. Of course, the piece of shit that late James Lester Sapone really was. He knocked her up and left her. Like a whole bunch of other asshole guys. And what are you supposed to do? That's what the father of my cho two children did. Okay, I mean, I, and he's a child molester rapist. Okay. What am I supposed to do? What the hell was I supposed to do my whole life? Surrounded by rapists. Huh? H how can I do anything? And these are all the rapists. My late husband. Look at all the help he got. He got a government check. Started out as almost, um... Almost 1400 And then... It might have ended up like very close to fourteen hundred, thirteen hundred fifty dollar, whatever. I never got anything. Look at pretending a lot narcissists. Look at the people in my life who were rapists and got away with it scot free. Oh boy, I pledge of allegiance to the child molester. And lie cast whore. Because I was forced. I didn't want anything to do with that. That's disgusting. That's sick. It's demented. It's deranged. It's awful. It's god awful. It's, it's unspeakable. This is my life. Unspeakable. People. Monsters. You can't call them people. They're monsters. In my life. I really hate myself because yesterday I yelled in a parking lot to a child molester. Okay, I'll just say that. I had my papers. I should have just dropped my papers. And left Satan alone because I can't deal with child molesters. Well, I, I wasn't strong enough. I wasn't strong enough. I picked up my papers and left and talked to him. I shook his hand because I was always forced to shake my caretaker's hand. But I ran away from her when I was 37, so that's why I first loved myself. But, oh my God, I'm so mad at myself yesterday. Why did I just leave the papers there? Why not? What the... What good are the papers going to do me? Nothing. But leaving and never coming back? That's my pride. 
for myself. My love for myself. I shall. I'm disgusted with you. You're a rapist. I'm disgusted. There's my fucking papers. Go throw them out. So I'm really mad at myself yesterday for not standing up my, for myself that way. But whatever. Just gonna have a hammerless guy, uh... The hammerless guy was gonna, uh... Be there. But then he wouldn't have allowed me to... Think of a number of things to do. I was gonna go in the police station and say... I can't deal with this person. Can you come along with me? I know that they don't do that. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they... I don't know. Can you stand there while, while I get my stuff? But it's in his car. So, legally, it's his. I mean, if you have... My, I couldn't get any of my stuff off of my mom's property. I was not allowed to have any of my paintings any of anything off of my mom's property it's on her property it's in someone else's car it's theirs it's how horrifying this world is the victims tortured to death and they can't even get their stuff because the system honors the child molester rapist it's reality it's satan's world I'm disgusted. I'm totally disgusted. Oh yeah, I was gonna have him drive by a park, any park in Lancaster. I could have been down visiting my friends at the Lancaster Mission. I call that the dump park. I mean, I don't like that park at all. You know, like, you know. Get the the playground sucks. By the way, by the mission. That's why I call it the dump park. Look at their look at their playground. It sucks. Where's the ten swings at? Where's the steel slide at? Where's the grass at? And, and they should have instead. They should put a big pillow with um, plastic all around it. Wash the plastic every time a, a child falls goes down the steel slide. Have a merry-go-round with foam around it and, and pillows, you know, pillowed, um, instead of grass, pillowed plastic. All around, pillowed foam. All around the merry-go-round. I went around a merry-go-round, my tooth got knocked out. <laughs> I have no teeth now. Because it was stolen. By a hierarchy, uh, child molester that every single shot every single phone hacked but she was high rank and authorities to have every single phone hacked of mine very easily starting in 2011 so what what rights did i ever have none at all none i hate the playgrounds of today they should have monkey bars the monkey bars should be uh well they have to be metal on the top i have you know, all pillow foam. You know, durable pillow foam. I'm not talking about the f the stupid foam uh, that they have that looks... I'm talking about pillows. A and uh, plastic around the pillows. And just wipe them off. And I don't know, they tear every once in a while, then replace them. Because we... America is the richest country in the world. And we spend how much money on fireworks? Why not spend it on the playgrounds? Where kids are supposed to have fun. And the playgrounds today suck. They don't have enough swings. They don't have steel sliding boards. They don't have merry-go-rounds. Protect the merry-go-rounds. Put foam all around them. So you can't get hurt at all. Put pillows around, you know, and have it pillowed with, with plastic. And then it rips, just redo it. Because America is the richest country in the world, and they can do that. And they can put pillows down the, uh, where at the end of the steel slide. They can put pillows all around the monkey bars. You know, they can put pillow. I mean, put little... They don't even have to have foam around. You know, like, small, you know, have it 
well, fan around the monkey bars. And then the little things that slide. That a kid gets there here and then slides. This holds a little ring and slides. Have all the bottom part all pillowed. Why not? America spends a whole bunch of money on every other thing. On all the whatever the fucking child molester wants. The kids can't get, get, get child molested out in the open in the playground. And put a bunch of cameras around while they can't. Well, you see everything. I think everything should be camera. And I would... If I were a millionaire, I'd camera everything. I, won't, I wouldn't trust anything. Why would I? Look at all the child molesters in my life. My late husband, Jim. Jim Keebler. My late uncle who died. <laughs> Faith named Jim. Faith child molester rapist. There you go. You woo-woo! That's what I meant. Crazy, stupid people always do. Get out of here. Look at my horrifying life. I mean, yeah. I've seen few people in it. Late Arthur is not the third of child molester rapist. He didn't have sex with me at the Amish place where he lived at, so he raped a woman outside. My son, Alexander Thomas Keebler, stayed in that house. I showed him what happened. I said, your dad raped a woman outside. He came in, ah, I'm an awful person. I, fuck me, fuck me, I, I, ah. What, what happened? Oh, the rapist came running in here. There was a, a, a flashlight, and it went up where the room, and I was petrified where I was looking for him. Didn't realize I lived in the house. And he was already safe. Like all the child molesters in my life. Safe. Every single last one. How many? Too many to count. My sister was child molested. Maybe at the di diaper changing table. I don't know. So late Uncle Jim got out his privates, put it by her privates on the diaper changing table. It had my my dad's mom pass out, Evelyn Keebler. All right, what's the real story? My sister told me camping one time. I was pregnant. Sure. I was pregnant five times, so. How am I supposed to remember? Um, I don't even know why she took me camping. Maybe God put it in her heart. The only time she was ever nice to me. And, um, um, she told me, um, no, nah, that's not when I was child molested. I was child molested at four, uh, in Grandpa's house. That's when Jim child molested me in the bed upstairs. How does she know he child molested? It could have been dead Uncle Jim. Could have been her Uncle Jim's brother. Could have been the father. Whore. The father. Whore. Uncle Jim. And Uncle Jim's brother. Could have been all them. She isn't there. She's four years old in the dark in a in, in a bedroom upstairs. How the hell does she know who the hell child molested her? Does she care? Does she care that I was? Nah. Why am I bitter? No one cares that I was child molested, but God did. Because God, on the cross, he died for all my pain. So I give God all my pain on the cross. For all the child bluster sins against me, I take all that pain, and that's what my God died for. My God, my God died for all of my child blusters and rapists. Which were a lot, because they wronged me so much in 2012. Facebook, they hacked up the Tremble Lancaster with the ugliest new picture. Got me raped all the time. So that's what my God died for. What sin did I c commit? I was, I hated. I naturally hated. So my God died for 
me hating, um, hating to. So I gave that to the cross, which is natural. Did I sin? I don't think I sinned. I naturally hated, naturally lusted, I guess lust and hate, but hate, hate's the worst sin. Lust would be another one, but, um, yeah, a child molest, child molester to vi victim, it's natural for them to lust. So, um, that's not their fault. That's not their sin. They were given that sin. They were. So, how can you say that a child molested victim, who was majorly fucking child molested, how the hell can you say that they sinned? When they were put, the sin was put on them. How can you say they sinned? But, yeah, uh, for a person to hate, yeah, that's sin. So I give that to the cross. I give that to the cross. As well as all my child molesters uh, and rapists. And, like, they, you know, they, that's what my God died for. He didn't die for all my rapists and all of my child molesters. He didn't die for my dead husband and dead Uncle Jim. And, no. No, they didn't. No, he didn't. He died for them abusing me is what my God died for. And their sin abused me, and I give that to the cross. But then I also have to give what they put on me. They put their hate inside me, and I have to give that to the cross, too. That's what my God died for. He doesn't forgive everyone's sins. He certainly never forgave Hitler's sins.